It's a lovely day in the neighborhood today. I don't know what's up with Vancouver these days. Um, <laughs> we've been getting an awful lot of sun the past few months. It scares me a little bit. What's coming? <laughs> the apocalypse this winter, I'm sure. Um, hey, okay, so on a day like today, um, and it's a lifting, today was a scheduled lifting day, a strength day, a pump the iron day, and it's really nice out. And I want to be outside. I really do. Um, so even though I prefer to work out at home here, I really want to just get out of the house. So uh, today I decided to go to a specific gym that's nearby that has a great big huge atrium. The, the, weights, the weights room is in a great big atrium. Um, and so it's, it's really, really bright and it's lots of natural light. And, you know, I get to get out of the house to, go to, the, to get to the gym in the first place and um, the sun shines in through the glass uh, because at the time of the, time of the day that I go to the gym it comes around just right and it's like being outdoors um, except for the fact that there's no real air <laughs> it's really dank in there and it's really there's a pool in the same area so it's really humid and it's really hot and uh, it's like working out in a jungle kind of that's the sort of the, the, the feeling of the air in there but it's it's in the sunshine and uh, I feel like I'm at least experiencing some sunshine while I'm in there and it is quite warm uh, so it's almost like some people I've never done hot yoga but some people have said that it's like doing hot yoga uh, you know working out hard in the uh, in the heat so um, I like to go to that gym specifically for that one reason is that when it's a nice day out and I'm not otherwise going to be get get to go outdoors at all um, I get to feel like I'm at least experiencing some vitamin D and some sunshine and uh, still get my workout done. So anyway, uh, that all being said, um, big preamble as to why I was at the gym today, but I want to tell you what I experienced at the gym today, and it's another rant. I tell you, every single time I go to a commercial gym, I have another rant. <laughs> I just, every time I go, I see something that makes me absolutely infuriated. <laughs> so this is what went on today. Um, I mean, it wasn't a big instance. It was a small, short little, uh, you know, instance, but it really made me think. There was this guy, and he was obviously sick. Uh, he was there getting his workout done anyway. No excuses. Good for him. However, uh, he was coughing a lot, and um, he really wasn't bothering to cover his mouth at all. And at one point, he even went over to the dumbbell rack and leaned on the dumbbell rack with both hands... <laughs> and coughed on the dumbbell rack. He didn't cover his mouth, his hands were, both his hands were on the dumbbell rack, and he is coughing his full head off right onto the dumbbells. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> All the rest of us here in the gym will be touching those dumbbells at some point. Cover your mouth. <laughs> I wanted to smack the guy. Seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> couldn't believe my eyes that this guy was doing just coughing right on the right on the equipment okay so what does that mean to you it means here I am ranting my head off so big deal get over it right well sure um, but this is a good reminder to all of us now that uh, when you go to the gym treat your hands like they're a hazard zone you know like they're like they're there's germ warfare going on on your hands make sure your hands don't go anywhere near your face while you're working out don't uh, touch your mouth, don't touch your eyes, don't touch your nose, don't touch any of your, uh, you know, your, um, you know, <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Um, the areas where you can catch germs, you know, um, because you don't know what you're picking up when you pick up those weights. People, I mean, not only is this moron coughing on them, but, you know, who knows who else has been touching their own mouth and nose and whatever and, and then touching the weights and who knows what's on these things. So, you know, I mean, you can, it, can, it can be easy to, uh, to get distracted and be absent-minded and, you know, you've got an itch on your nose or you need to blow your nose or, uh, you know, whatever, wiping sweat off your face, whatever, you know, or an itch in your eyes so you scratch your eye. Uh, be very, very, very careful of touching those zones when you're in the gym. You know, I mean, if you have to probably best to go in the washroom and wash your hands first very very well <laughs> um, before touching anything uh, any of those areas uh, because you're setting yourself up to, to get sick and catching you know this idiot's germs uh, if you're not so that's all really the, the reason for this rant is just to remind you guys you know the, the, the gym's a dirty place no matter how much I mean this particular gym's got a um, 
a team of cleaners, you know, that they're always walking around wiping things down with the same dirty cloth all the time, you know. I'm, I don't even know why they employ them, to be honest, because they don't do anything. I even complained about some, once one of the benches had gum stuck to the bottom of it, and I complained about this about, I don't know what, a month ago. And uh, this is the same gym I went today, and it's the gum still there. I've complained to three people. No one's done a thing about it. Um, so, because I'm just sick of grabbing it when I grab underneath the bench to do stuff, uh, is why I'm complaining about it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so just, just keep in mind, you know, the, the gym's a really dirty place, and um, get your workout in for sure. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be germophobic. A little few germs aren't going to hurt you, but, you know, uh, make sure that when you're done, you clean your hands thoroughly before you touch anything near your face. Um, that's it. That's all I have to say. Vent over. Thanks for listening. Have a great workout. See you soon.